Hey Exoticals, I am back with another video. Today's video I wanted to discuss coping mechanisms that pretty women do to cope with their attractiveness. A lot of the times for myself, I felt guilty for being pretty a lot of the times. I'm very humble and modest, so I don't like to seem like I'm conceited or anything, and I'm not, and I don't want people to think that just because I'm attractive that I might because I get judged a lot by be people consider me like I've been judged as bougie before. I've been judged as anything but who I actually was. And so to cope with all of the judgments that get thrown on me, I've developed coping mechanisms. And some of the coping mechanisms that we face as pretty women. And one of the first coping mechanisms that I'm going to discuss is we dim down our beauty a lot of the times. A lot of us tend to probably put less makeup on than what they want to or no makeup at all because they don't want to get perceived as something that they're not. I know for me, for the longest time, I didn't wear makeup because I know that when I do put on makeup, you know, I got a lot of attention, so much attention that it caused problems for me, especially in the workplace to the point where I was just like, I'm just not going to wear makeup as much anymore because I don't want to draw any type of unwanted attention to myself. So I would put on less makeup. It got to the point where I got a little too comfortable and started wearing sweatpants. And I just wasn't myself what I was wearing because I usually like to dress nice. Like if you guys watch Scandal, if you guys watch Scandal, I like to dress like how Olivia Pope dresses, like those type of clothes. So when I was going through that phase, um, I just was wearing sweatpants and t-shirts and stuff. I was just dimming down my looks because I didn't want to draw unwanted attention. Another coping mechanism, being overly nice. I'm extremely nice. I'm already nice, but I'm, I feel like I'm extra nice. More, than, more nice than I'm supposed to be. I'm a people pleaser almost in a sense. Because I, I have a thing with people judging me. Because like, I have this thing. I have social anxiety. So I automatically think people are judging me anyway. And I already don't like that. So it's like being, on, being attractive on top of having anxiety is just like a little too overwhelming for me. So, And then I have this thing where I want people to like me at the same time. I want... So it's weird. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I want people to like me. So I'm kind of a people pleaser because I don't want people judging me at the same time. I want them to like me. So I just have this thing where I'm kind of a yes man. And I'm trying to work on that. And I'm I'm getting better. I'm getting better at that. I have to, I'm, I'm actually getting a lot better. I'm working on standing up for myself more and not letting people run all over me. I was that girl in college that had the car and everybody needed a ride and I would give them a ride. And so I need to work on a lot of my people pleasing issues. And then another one is humbling yourself to please other people. If I want to dress in a certain outfit or something, but I feel like I might be doing too much, I won't wear it because I'm trying not to make other people look at me like I'm being extra or, or wanting too much attention when I really don't. I just like the way something looks. But it might be a little too much. I have to second guess certain things that I want to wear. So it's like we kind of have to. Because our beauty gets kind of overwhelming for people around us. I notice that. <clears throat> I pay attention to people's body language when they're around me. I have this. I'm I'm spiritual. So I have a gift of clairvoyance where I can sense other people's emotions. And so, like, I can tell when somebody either has feelings for me. It's just not only do I feel their energy, but their body language. You got to read the nonverbal cues in somebody when they're talking to you. I pay attention to those things. And you can kind of just tell sometimes people can't control themselves when they're talking to you. It's almost like you make people nervous. So I try to go out my way to do 
things for people just to decrease the amount of judgment that I receive. I feel like I can't um, express certain emotions because I'll get perceived as a, a bitch or something like that or stuck up or I get she thinks she's all that. Who does she think she is? Do you think you're better than us? So in order to avoid all of that, I just try to keep a low key profile as much as possible. And then another hum, another coping and then another coping mechanism that I do, I've created an alter ego for myself. I have two alter egos and they're kind of something that I recently developed just as a way to be able to express who I am because I'm very compressed like a lot of my personality over the years because of anxiety and and then going through body dysmorphia I was so compressed for years so this last year I've really leveled up a lot and so one way I was able to actually truly break out of my shell because I was quiet and not shy, just quiet, you know. I wanted to make friends, but I was just so anxious. I had anxiety, so I just couldn't really socialize. But one way I was able to break out of my shell, I created an alter ego. And so I have this somewhat of a flirtatious side of me, a playful, flirtatious side of me that I like to express. But because I suppressed it for so long, I just was never able to do that. But because I created an alter, an alter ego, and I call her Nikki. So whenever I'm in my flirtatious, you know, playful nature, I, I kind of call, call that person Nikki because I'm able to express that person truly. I don't know. It just kind of helps. And then... I have another alter ego named Sierra, and she is more of my tomboy swag. When I'm on my tomboy, that's when I, I'm on my Sierra. So that's one way I'm able to cope with my personalities without feeling like I'm being judged as myself. I blame it on Nikki and Sierra whenever I'm acting a certain way. It just helps me cope. <clears throat> So you guys could try that maybe. I don't know, it really works for me to be able to express other personalities of myself that I'm too shy or scared to express. I just kind of blame it on an alter ego. So I hope you guys are getting what I was saying today. Um, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.